guys, it's Vapid Studios, and welcome back! Today, we are going to be playing some Mountain Blade Warband. We've got another mod spotlight for you here today. This time, we are going to be playing Blood in the West, a multiplayer and single-player mod for Mountain Blade Warband. Obviously, if you couldn't tell from this main screen, with this amazing art of Sauron versus the Elves and the Men of Gondor, this is a Lord of the Rings mod. So... I'm really excited to get into this. The last update that they did for this mod was about a year ago, so it is quite dated. I believe they are working on another Lord of the Rings mod, although it is not Blood in the West. And I will be checking that out in the future. But for right now, we're going to just do Blood in the West. This was an amazing, absolutely an amazing Lord of the Rings mod. I personally love it. And let's go ahead. Oops, I didn't want to <laughs> I didn't want to click credits there. In our options, you'll see that I have my music turned off. Now, I'm not going to turn it up because I will get copyright flagged for it, but if you do turn it up and have the music on for yourself, it does have the Lord of the Rings music from the actual movies. And by the way, oh my god, does Lord of the Rings have an amazing ass soundtrack. It is perfect. Anyways, let's go ahead, launch up a new game here and see how it's going. Alrighty. So, in the beginning here, I already just ran through this really quickly just to see how everything was going to play out. And pretty much all of the options and all the descriptions are the same exact thing as Native Warband. Except for this right here. So, you have a choice of a bunch of different races that you can choose from. So, you can be a female. <laughs> I love how that's its own race. <laughs> I, guess they don't, I, mean, I guess you can't be a girl from Gondor, Rohan, a girl dwarf. Well... <laughs> Girl dwarfs are um, kind of mysterious, <laughs> to say the least, if you know what I'm talking about there. Anyways, yeah, you can be Gondor, Rohan, Dwarf, and Elf. I believe Mordor are goblins, and I believe Isengard is Urukai, although I'm not sure, because I've never chosen Mordor or Isengard, but I'm going to assume that Isengard is the Urukai and Mordor is goblins. But, for the sake of this showcase, we're going to go ahead and play as a dwarf. We're going to go with a veteran warrior. Oh, yeah, also the elves hate you if you're a dwarf, <laughs> which is uh, pretty expected, I guess. And then we are going to choose to be a stepchild, a travador, and then we are going to be forced out of our home. We will become an adventurer and ride to our glory. Now, the, the thing that I love about this mod, other than the Lord of the Rings things laying everywhere... I like that they buff up your attributes right in the beginning here. So right off the bat, you have 19 strength and 19 agility. So that is really, really good. I'm not sure if that's just because I chose a veteran warrior or if, you know, all your stats are just buffed like that no matter what you choose. But that is amazing. I love having high strength and high agility in the beginning of the game so that way I can actually do stuff. Because in native warband, you start out with really low attributes, which, you know, adds on to the difficulty, but... It gets kind of annoying when you're not really doing any damage. And you kind of you have to level up a bunch to be able to actually do things. But And this starts you right off with high agility, high strength, high combat skills. So I like that. Anyway, so let's go ahead and bump up our charisma to 18. Then we'll go ahead and bump up our leadership all the way. And we'll get some iron flesh and some power strike. And we'll go ahead and hook ourselves up with some two-handed. I think we're going to go with a two-handed axe. Or maybe a pole arm of sorts. We'll see. So our name for this Let's Play, I was thinking of going with a dwarf from the movies. Oh yeah, also, just to give you a little bit of background on my knowledge of Lord of the Rings, I don't know too much about it. I've read the Hobbit book, and I've also seen all of the movies made by um, Peter Jackson. So, I've seen The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, all those, and then I've seen The Hobbit movies. I, I, I don't know, The Hobbit got a lot of hate. I, I, I liked it. They definitely milked the hell out of it, and I would have liked to see it in two movies instead of three. But, then again, it being in three, I still really, really liked it. I loved the action, I thought it was a great movie. Although, there were quite a few changes from the book. But I still, regardless of that, I, I love the movie. Uh, it seems like a lot of people hated it, though, because of the changes that uh, Peter Jackson made. But anyways, we won't get into that. We won't get into that, because, like I said, I'm not a, new, I'm not a person who's going to get into an argument about that. I really don't know too much about Lord of the Rings, everything considered. So yeah, um, we're going to be Eurus McStabby, which is a Dwarf Fortress-esque name. 
kind of, kind of dwarven, I guess. Anyways, whenever I see Lord of the Rings, oh, uh, 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 <laughs> what is this? Um. <laughs> okay. All right, so we're just gonna go with that. He's got a badass beard going on there, beard mustache combo, and some long hair, much like a dwarf. So there we go. You hear about Middle Earth, a land torn between evil and glorious kingdoms battling each other for supremacy. I think that's the same exact thing as the native warband description, but yeah. So we can choose to ride to Rivendell, Minas Tirith, Edoras, Moria, Isengard, or Barad Dur. I think we're going to go ahead and go to Moria, since that's where the dwarves are at. We can go with our dwarven brethren. So let's do this. Oh yeah, there's me. God damn it. I don't think I'm supposed to be wearing this shirt. I think that's the problem. Oh, is that Gandalf? Why do I have Gandalf? I have Gandalf, Sam, Frodo, and Legolas. I have the whole fellowship. What the fuck? Okay, just clicked out of the game menu. <laughs> the game window there. I have the whole fellowship with me. There's Boromir. <laughs> okay. Starts you off with a fellowship. Alrighty. Hello, sir. Yes, I'm interested. I will take your money. Thank you. Goodbye. Good day. Alrighty, so here is the map. I believe this is full Middle Earth here. Oh, boy. Let's see. I don't know which way the map is supposed to be turned. I think it, I think it goes this way. <laughs> I have no idea. Anyways, down here we have Mordor, Mount Doom... The crack of doom. The butt crack of doom. Anyways, yeah, there's uh, Gondor, Minas Tirith. I believe these. this is the elves, correct? No, that's Rohan. Fuck. <laughs> there's the elves. And let's see. Uh, dwarves. What else? Is that it? I think that is it. Okay. Who are these guys? Oh, that's Isengard. Okay. And then Mordor. So... There we go. Yeah, we've got Mordor, Isengard, the Elves, Gondor, Rohan, and the Dwarves. Very cool. Alrighty, so let's just go ahead, first of all, head into the Mines of Moria. And, ooh, there's a tournament going on. We could do that, but I really don't want to. What happens if I put on this? Aw, oh, Jesus, is all the armor going to be like that? Do I have to wear Dwarven armor? Ah, oh, yes. I believe I do have to wear actual dwarven armor. Okay, that's a bit of a pain in the ass. I wish I would kind of just resize it to my character. That, yeah. Alright, we're just gonna... Can I wear the cloak? Is that a helmet piece? Yeah, okay, too big. <laughs> that really sucks. That really, really, really sucks. Because now I'm not gonna have any armor. Alrighty, whatever. We'll just have to find some dwarven armor, I suppose. There we go. Let's go ahead and head out. Maybe we should join the tournament. Let's, let's, uh, yeah, let's do it. Why not? Why not? We can go ahead and get ourselves... <laughs> yeah. I don't think this is ever going to be fixed, to be quite honest. Um... Oh, shit. Ow. Fucking stop. Die. Because like I said before, there hasn't been an update to this mod in in um, quite a while. So I'm not sure if any of this is going to actually be fixed. And there we go. I'm dead. I don't even... I don't... Screw that tournament. Yes. I just lost a little bit of money, but screw that. I don't want to be a part of that. Um, Let's see. I want to just get up an army and go attack the elves. Oh, Gandalf, we're approaching. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I don't care, Gandalf. Just do your, do your, your magic things. Let's see, what do we got? Oh yeah, whole fellowship. We got Merry Pippin, Gimli, Aragorn, Gandalf, Legolas. The whole fellowship. And we've got our little group of dwarven miners. Great. Let's go ahead and attack these deserters. Oh, they're dwarven deserters. Okay, let's do this. Um, Frodo, there seems to be... Ice coming off of your sword. Or like a chill. <laughs> what is this? I think that's supposed to be the blue light of Frodo's sword that turns uh, 
that, that makes the blue color when orcs, or goblins rather, get nearby. I think that's what that's supposed to be, but it's kind of just like frosting coming off of his sword. Okay, whatever. Hopefully we'll get some dwarven armor here, though, so we can actually run around with the armor. Yeah, the textures are a little bit messed up in this mod, unfortunately. Hello there, guys. Please don't hurt me. There we go. Ooh. Frickin' Aragorn beat him up. Ooh, and I just got shot. Someone threw an axe into my head. Oh, two damage. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Broke my... Oh! Aragorn! Aragorn, save me. Thank you. You're a good boy, Aragorn. I wonder... What? 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 What the fuck was that? What the hell was that? I have no idea <laughs> what I just heard there, but okay. Let's go ahead and leave now. Alrighty, we've got some dwarven gear. <laughs> I like how it comes with the beard. Amazing. Let's go ahead and get Iron Hill Battle Axe. Why not? Are those ones better? Yeah, those ones are better. Okay, we'll take that then instead. Boom. There we go. Sir, I hope you don't mind me telling you this, but in my opinion, Gandalf the Merchant does not know this place. Or does not know his place. During this last battle, he out in front of me to engage a foe whom I had marked for my own. Oh, uh, Mary, stop being a little bitch. Don't bother me, you little hoe. Oh my god. He's crying because Gandalf stole his kill. That seems like something Gimli and Legolas would be doing. Bitching at each other because they stole each other's kills. Oh, goblins! Um, we'll just we'll just have our guys charge. What? Is that a is that an Isengard army? Ooh, I have small goblin hands. <laughs> okay. Frodo, fuck off! Yeah, they're gonna be bitching at each other, aren't they? Jeez, it's just like the real fellowship. Love it. Actually, they didn't really bitch at the, uh, each other too much. They really didn't. But yeah, that's an Isengard army. I want to find the elves, but... I don't have a sizable enough army to take on an elven army. So yeah, it seems like this mod is very, very unfinished. Like, it just feels very unfinished and unpolished. And I have the latest update. I have all the, the fixes and everything. It just feels very awkward and weird. It doesn't feel normal. Oh, there's Helm's Deep. I imagine that is an amazing castle to try and defend. Goblin looters. Yeah, there's a bunch of battles going on here between the Dunedain and the Goblin bandits. So I guess the goblins kind of replaced the looters. Yeah, goblin looters. Surrender or die. Why does that guy... That guy's not a goblin. He has a regular face. Whatever. There we go. Well, we have we have some Orukai in our army. Or, well, not really Orukai. They're just regular orcs. Or, actually, goblins. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and have my guys dismount. Really don't need them on horses. Everyone will go on foot. Form up nice and tight. Get in a closed formation. So there we go. There's there's what a goblin looks like in this mod. Doesn't look too bad, actually. It actually looks pretty nice. Yeah, it does look pretty nice. And they're about the same size as dwarves. Alright, let's go ahead and charge them. Charge them, guys. Oh, they actually do have legitimate goblin garb. I like that. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> I love how I'm shirtless, though. I love how I'm a shirtless dwarf. Fighting the hordes of goblins. <laughs> Come back here. Stop running away, you cousin. Alright, there we go. So we won the battle. No casualties, and we killed a bunch of goblins. Perfect. 
Um, let's go ahead. Should we take a goblin bleed? No. I don't think we should. Yeah, we're not gonna take a goblin blade. We'll just sell all their stuff. Sir! Oh my god! Would you guys stop? I... <laughs> I've been playing this game for such a short amount of time, and everyone's just picking at each other's freaking necks. Oh, can we get an Isengard orc? Oh, I don't have enough gold to upgrade them. Well, shit. Should probably go sell our stuff. Let's go to Fangorn. Um, we'll renew our contract with the dwarves. Why not? Let's go to the marketplace, sell our goods. So get some moolah. Boom. And we'll grab a little bit of food. We'll grab some cheese. And we'll head out. Let's see. We got more looters. Not gonna join that. Oh, there's actually ants in this. Angry ants. I like that. Argonoth. Okay. Oh, hey! There's a Mon Hen! I like that that's a thing. I really like that that's a thing. Maybe I should actually look at the settlements and see what else they have on here. Asgiliath. Nice. Hmm. <laughs> I love how this town, Umbar, is just kind of all on its own over here. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let's go after those goblin looters. Why not? Surrender all die. There they are. Kill them. Get them, boys. Get them. Get them. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Very nice. Kill the Uruks. Well, goddammit. I keep wanting to call them Urukai, but they're just goblins. They're just regular old plain goblins. There we go. That was an easy... Easy win for us. Ooh, I like your belt there. I like it. Really like that belt. We don't have any prisoner management, so we can't take any prisoners, unfortunately. That's okay, though. Uh, and Gandalf's pretty pissed off at Mary. God, God damn it, you guys. Why? Why are you so freaking angry? Anyways, let's go ahead and upgrade some more dwarven footmen. Let's get some Isengard orcs. Oh, yes. Look at those guys. Oh, we can get some Orukai after that and Warg Riders. Nice. Very nice. I'm tempted to go on, go into the Elven Lands now and try and find someone to fight. Ooh, a Warg Pack. Oh, no. I'm, I'm not sure if we can catch up to that. Uh, probably not. Oh, no. There we go. It turned around and we caught up to it. Perfect. So let's go ahead and fight some of these Wargs. Oh, shit. There they are. There they are! Warg Riders! Get him, boy! Oh, I, ha I got a headshot on the horse! Charge him! Charge him! Kill every last one! Oh my god, look at that ward! Look at it! Would you just look at it? Look at that goddamn ward! Look at that booty! Amazing. Amazing. I feel like I should give a ward. If I get a ward, I should give it to, like... Frodo or someone. <laughs> Should give it to one of the hobbits. That'd be great. <laughs> and there's Frodo with this freaking ice sword that's frosting everywhere. Okay. <laughs> uh. Yeah, so as you can tell, there are a lot of problems with this mod. I still think it's worth getting if you are a Lord of the Rings fan. It is definitely still worth getting, in my opinion. Just to, you know, see all of the different conversions that they have made and just to mess around with it. I think I think it's a, a very good mod to mess around with, especially if you like Lord of the Rings. But there are a bunch of problems with it, as you've seen. The tournament thing is kind of all borked up and quite a few other things. Can we use an orc helmet? Yes, we can. It's the same size as us, but I, I really don't want to. Because our other stuff is better. Um, let's just get some warg boots there. Because they're a lot better. Let's see. 25 cut. We got 34 cut there. So keep that. And it looks like we got a warg out of that. Well. And there's that creepy ass noise again. I want to check Frodo's inventory. I want to see if he has the one ring. No he does not. Here take these warg boots. And this goblin helmet. Or orc helmet rather. Here you can take the... Um, War Rider helmet. I don't think you have any riding. No, yeah, no. 
Not enough, at least. Aragorn might, though. Yes, Aragorn does. We'll give him an orc helmet. <laughs> okay, there we go. Goodbye. It looks like I gotta level up. Um, we'll go ahead and... We'll pump up our strength to 21. Pump up our iron flesh. Get some more one-handed, actually, because we're using a one-handed axe and shield combo. And it looks like Isengard is attacking... Oh, Lurtz! Lurtz is attacking a Rohan caravan. And there's some angry Ents. Oh, no, I want to see the Ents. Let me catch up to them. Your money or your life. Yes, I want to see what these guys look like. All right, so there are the Ents. They look really crappy. <laughs> They, they, they do look really crappy, and they just have huge-ass clubs. Um, maybe they'll look better when they get up close. Let's see. Okay. They kind of resemble Ents. Um, yeah. Yeah. They, they actually they look pretty decent up front. I don't like the fact that they are Ents, and they're carrying huge-ass wooden clubs. <laughs> I really don't like that fact, but their models actually don't look too terrible, up close at least. So there we go. We, we killed the Ents. That, that's it. They're Ogre. The Ents' lives are Ogre. Okay, let's go ahead and leave that. And no loot? Jesus. Why do Ents no carry no loot? Oh my god. Oh! Was that Aragorn saying something nice about Gimli? Well, thank you, Aragorn, for not being a negative Nancy like everyone else. Dwarven Archer. Can I get crossbowmen? Oh, yes, I can get crossbowmen. I don't really see dwarves using bows. I really think it's more crossbows, but whatever. Let's get, a, let's get an Urukai and a Wargrider. Let's see what they look like. Yep. Very nice. And Urukai. Okay, cool, cool. Let's get some more orcs, and let's see what a dwarven soldier looks like. Nice. Nice, nice. Okay, so what next? What shall we do with next? I'm tempted to join in this. Can I? And there's that weird-ass noise. I think that's freaking, like... Huh. <laughs> I really have no idea what that's supposed to be. Like, I can't make it out, like, what it's supposed to be at all. Oh, we can't get involved in that. Oh, well, it looks like Andreth joined in on that battle. So Rohan might win that. Hmm. Let's go over to Elf Territory. Where's, where's Elf Territory? I think this is Elf Territory. No, that's Dwarven Territory. Um. Oh, yes, Elf is over here, right? Bree? Bree is Elvish? So I guess the Hobbits don't have their own kingdom. I guess they're just a part of the elves. Oh, that's a little bit disappointing. I wish they had their own kingdom, but... It doesn't matter. Let's see. They're running away from me. Okay, that's fine. I don't care. Run away. Oh, can I not get past here? I couldn't get up that little mountain. A little bit of a glitch. Let's see. Any armies? Oh, there's an army. Hareth. Go ahead and fight him. We'll fight All right, the there's their cav. Elvish cav. Oh, I got another headshot on the horse. Ooh. Kill him. Oh, yeah. Listen to that carnage. I love how the um, orcs yell. I love how they yell when they... Ooh. I love how they yell when they're, like, doing their war cry things. I like that. Come on, kill the elves. Kill those dirty ass elves. Kill them all. It seems this is such an unlikely combo. Like we have orcs and dwarves working together. What the hell is this? <laughs> oh my god. You can definitely tell I'm not going for the heavy roleplay here. There there's their infantry and their archers. Kill them! Kill them all. We're probably gonna get shreked here. Probably gonna get very shrekt. Because they have much better soldiers than we do. We still have kind of just a peasant army. Who knows? Maybe we'll win though. Maybe Legolas and uh, Gimli and Gandalf can go ahead and pull us through this battle. I assume that later on you can give them fiefs and whatnot and make your own little faction. 
Boom. Boom. Slicey, slicey. Oh. Get him. Did we win? I think we won. We won, guys. We did it. It looks like one elf is running away. I think that's the last one. Yeah, that is the only elf left. Wow. We only lost nine guys. And we killed their whole army. Wow. Okay. So it looks like right off the bat, you can actually get a strong enough army to just immediately go into battles. I like that. Although it makes the game a lot less difficult, but I, I definitely like that. And I, I have some elvish hair, which I'm not going to wear. Okay. Cool. And we have some more soldiers ready to upgrade. Um, Let's get some Orukai. Let's see what the Dwarven Halberds... Okay, they're pretty much just soldiers, but I guess with Halberds. And Crossbowmen. Pretty much the same exact as those two, just crossbows. Footmen. Alright, there we go. I think I'm going to go ahead and end this sort of little mod spotlight, mod checkout, mod first look, I suppose. It's not really a first look, but yeah, just, just a little look in at the Blood in the West mod for Mountain Blade Warband. I still think this is very uncompleted. It just feels very empty and disgusting, really. Um, although, there, there really is no way to do things like Ents and Wards. and Although, they did do the Wards pretty well, but there is no way to do, like, Ents and sort of the mythical creatures that Lord of the Rings and many other series have in Warband. I've never seen any mod do mystical creatures like Ents in a decent fashion. Although, they do look pretty decent in this one. The models aren't too terrible, but... Yeah, it's just, it's, it is very, very difficult to recreate things like that in Warband. It's just the way that the game is set up. But I think this is definitely a mod worth giving a try at if you are a Lord of the Rings fan. Although, just beware of some bugs and glitches, especially if you're playing as a dwarf or an orc, one of those races. Your character is a little bit smaller than usual, so you have to get smaller gear. And also, tournaments will mess up because everyone, like all the dwarves and stuff, will be given regular gear. So it messes up a little bit there. But other than that, there's not too many gear problems. That was really all I saw from this little quick look in at the mod here. So yeah, download the link in the description if you want to check this mod out for yourself. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like, please comment, and please, please, please subscribe. If you have a suggestion for what video you want to see in the future or what mod spotlight you want to see in the future, go ahead and hit me up with a comment. It's really appreciated. I look at all the comments, and if you have a question or anything, I'll be sure to get back to you with an answer. So once again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye!